This is the era of business intelligence analytics and Power BI is leading that. You want to learn Power BI? This is the channel for you. Beginner series, 200 plus videos, advanced series, 100 plus videos. And if you are absolute beginner, don't know anything in Power BI, then start with four live videos. Subscribe to the channel. Hello and welcome to another video on beginner tutorial series and in today's video we are going to discuss one power query function that is table.schema. Now table.schema function takes a table as an argument and returns also a table. But it returns the metadata about your table, the table describing the columns of the table. Each row in the table describe the properties of the column of the table which is name, position, type name, kind is enable numeric precision, numeric precision base, numeric precision, numeric scale, date time precision, max lamp is variable length, native type prob name, native default expression and description. So these are the properties which it's going to provide us and let's go to the Power BI and see what does this function give us table dot schema. So let's look at the schema of our tables using the function table dot schema. So in the Power BI, I am going to go to the home tab, transform data, transform data, and this will take me to Power Query. I have this table, table two, and I would like to see what's the schema of this table two, first of all. So let me add the new source, blank query. And here in the advanced editor, I'm going to say table dot schema, and I'll give table two. And once I give table two, I will get the schema information. So let's look at his name is A, B and C space C, C space D. Position is 0, 1 and 2. Type is number dot type. Kind is number, text and date. Is nullable false. Numerical precision base null. Numerical precision is null. Numerical scale is none. Whatever is applicable. Date precision. Max length is variable length. Name, native tape type name and all those are available here. Now, most of these things are null, but the important thing is here, if somebody asks you, what is the metadata of my table? Can you tell me what are the data types of my column? You can tell it. So what I have done is basically, these are my test tables. So you might not have so much of information, rich information. So I decided that I'll bring in my table sales and item, uh, which is basically one which I'm using in quite a few videos, which I'm creating. So here you can see I have order number, item ID, sales date, delivery date, customer ID, city ID, quantity, price, cost, and discount percentage. Similarly, item had quite a few columns and I would like to analyze these things. So now let me rename this first one as schema. And let me create one more table this time with the blank query. Let me call it as schema. Let me call it as sales schema because that's my fact table is sales. Even if the dimension is coming, I'm fine with doing that. And I'll tell you how to combine the two schemas. So first let's begin with table dot schema and the schema, which I'm going to bring in here is sales schema. And let me bring in the sales schema here. Now I got the sales schema. I got the order number. I got the position. I got the time. I got the kind is the label. Now you can see now label two and false values, precisions and all those columns are something which is not giving us the required value. So if you don't need, actually we can go ahead and delete those. But before we do that right now, if I were to combine it with the item table, the one of the challenge which I have here basically is that this particular table is not containing the table name. So that could cause a little bit of challenge. So I would like to add that. So right click advanced editor or home tab advanced editor. We will use the function table dot add column and in the table dot add column we are going to give the table name we give the column name which is basically name itself is table name and the syntax here is basically we can write down each and under the each i'm going to write down the table name which is sales and let me do that is there any other argument is there okay column type now label column generator function column generator function we are giving a simple text so let's look at this so at the end, we got the table name. Now it is setting stage that we can have more than one. So let's go to the advanced editor once more. Now we are going to call it as underscore T1, which is means table one. And let me add another table here, comma, enter next line T2 
and in the t2 i'm going to bring in my second table which is item and here it is item here also it is going to be item now i want to use one more function which is how can i append this information together so for that i need uh, the function table dot combine which need list of tables so we say source equals to table dot combine and the table dot combine i need list of tables so i start a list in the angular bracket t1 comma underscore t2 so now i got the two tables with their schemas not the table data it's only the schemas of the table appended with the table name by using the table dot add columns and i'm combining them using the table dot combine i already shared videos on this one in my series so if you want to know how these functions works go ahead and watch those videos so let's look at what kind of information we are going to get now is basically now we have the column names and their positions and their data types and everything and their names now if you don't need this these columns you can remove those and so let's go ahead and click on these columns what we require this with the control this 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 and rest of the columns are coming null along with the table name so i press control and i say remove other columns i got my schema ready for the tables which i want to analyze i say table i say close and apply close and apply under the home tab and I got a new table sales meta. So I got the table sales schema, not the meta. Now we are going to use, we are going to create a table visual with the table sales schema. So the table name, the column name, which is name itself, and the type, let's say. How you can analyze you can tell metadata about the meta how many text column i have how many number columns i have and all those analysis you want to do and sometimes it is important you wanted to know the data types of your table you wanted to know about the meta of your table so analyze the meta of your table using a beautiful function table dot schema so go ahead and try this out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.